Hi, I'm Andrew with the town of Gilbert, and we're here at the Chandler Gilbert Santan Vista Water Treatment Plant. Today we're going to take a behind the scenes tour of what goes on here. And we're going to start by taking a look at where does our water come from? Come on, let's go take a look. Hi, I'm Robert Andrews, the supervisor at the Santan Vista Water Treatment Plant. The water comes through and enters our plant here. But how does the water get here? Well, all the water is trapped in snow high in the mountains, and as the snow melts, it runs through streams into the river, river to the lake, and then a canal takes the water from the lake 200 miles to our plant. Ugh, canal water? I don't want to drink that. How do we clean it? Well, we do have to clean it, and I can show you how. Follow me. So here we are at the first stage of our treatment process. The water that comes in here has a lot of yucky stuff in it that we have to remove before we can have drinking water. So we add reagents to the water that attracts all the yucky molecules together and makes them heavy so that they drop out. So that's like in the water cycle when raindrops form in condensation and get really heavy and then fall to the ground in the form of rain. Is that it? No, this is only the first stage of the treatment process. There's more. Come on, I'll show you. So here we are at the next stage in the treatment process where we add ozone to the water. What is ozone? Ozone is O2 oxygen that has two O's in it and we pass a high power electric beam through it to split it in half. And then those two molecules need to join with something, so they bond with another O2, becoming an O3, which is ozone. And ozone is very unstable and angry in that. So that's like shooting a laser beam into the water and exploding all the bad bugs. Is that it? Well, that's it pretty much in a nutshell, but that's not it. We have one more stage to go to. Come on, follow me. So here we are at the last stage of the treatment process. It's filtration, and what happens is the water comes in and passes through these filters, and any yucky stuff that's still in the water that hasn't been removed previously will get trapped in the filter media, and clear water will come out the other end. So that's like in your pool, where you have a filter that catches all the leaves and dirty stuff. Okay, well, how do we know that the water is okay to drink? Well, we have to go to the lab to find that out. Come on. So here we are in the lab, and every day in the lab, we run over 100 tests to ensure that your water is safe to drink. 100 tests? Can you imagine taking 100 tests? How do you keep it all straight? Well, we'll have to head to the brains of the operation, the operator control room. So follow me. Don't touch that. Whoa, what's that video? Oh no, it's much more important than that. This is the brains of the operation. The operators use this to control everything in the plant, the pumps, the flows, chemical feeds, everything. It's very important. Don't touch that. Thanks for joining me on the tour. Now you know how you get clean, safe drinking water to your home. That was cool. Man, now I'm thirsty.